Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara or Lara Likes Mascara. I know that my decor is a little delayed. It is not October anymore. I am well aware even while I'm filming this, it's actually November, but look how cute they are. I didn't get to use them in any October videos, so just bear with me. This is going to be a very short introduction. I just wanted to say hello. Today's video is basically going to be kind of a pack with me video slash how I pack when I'm going away, packing a, a very like minimal and curated makeup bag with the goal of not having anything missing. So I don't need to go out and buy new products while I am traveling. Because if you have been to my channel before, you know that I'm aiming to have like a very minimal makeup collection. I'm on a low buy, so I do not want to be bringing anything new into my collection on this trip. I mean, who knows it could happen but right now i'm not planning to and i do not think it is likely that i will bring any new products into my collection so yeah this is a two and a half week trip so i just i need to have everything that i think i will need for that length of time i haven't gone on a trip like this you know since pre-covid the last time was uh, summer of 2019 when i was away for three weeks so yeah the longest i've been away since then has been like four days packing for four days with your makeup is a very different experience to two or three weeks so yeah let's just get into it i'm going to talk through what i'm choosing and why and I actually at this moment have no idea what I'm going to pack. <laughs> so I am very excited to choose because I'm going to bring some project pan items, I think, but some favorites. I want to have enough variety while I'm away. So for me, that looks like having more than one blush, having an eyeshadow palette rather than just, you know, one single eyeshadow or something like that. This may look different to you, but this is my definition of curation i might have a much bigger makeup collection than you i might have a much smaller makeup collection than you like everything it's just relative but for me this is taking my idea of a curated minimal makeup collection and translating that to a curated minimal travel makeup bag so let's just get into it hey, Laura. Whew, okay this is not even everything so let's get to work the stuff that i just put here was like stuff that i had in the bathroom just miscellaneous i also have stuff in this first drawer right there like more makeup but i'm gonna figure this out first and then we can move on to that stuff also look at my nails i just got them done yesterday i wanted to wait to film this video until then also right now it's the day before we leave and so i didn't want to like make a makeup bag and then actually use it you know like i want these items to be exciting for when we go things that i don't always reach for or my favorites but yeah let's let's just begin i think we can eliminate this quickly because this is not even makeup stuff i think there's like one lipstick in here this little bite one that was ostensibly something i was supposed to finish this year and did not happen but yeah the rest of this is hair and nail stuff i might want to take this hand cream but unrelated to this video say hi hi <laughs> i want to go through what's currently in my makeup bag and decide what i want to bring with me but it's just kind of too overwhelming so i want to deal with this stuff first so these two of course i will be bringing these are in my project pan and i also just generally want to get them out and this is a good like full coverage product which i think will be good for traveling like i just you know usually i don't like matte products but i think that it will be handy for this kind of usage should i keep it on screen i'm not really sure i'm gonna put it over there i i don't think i'm gonna bring this this hourglass palette i tried it out yesterday because i haven't used it in ages and i really forgot how i liked it but i think this might be the best bet for me to bring because I don't just want to have one blush, <laughs> like I can't have just one blush, but at the same time I don't want to bring like a bunch of different ones, so this is kind of handy because it's three in one. So that I'm probably going to take. It's so reflective. Hello. Bronzer. Ugh, I haven't decided between these two. Mm. 
gotta decide about that and then so bronzer and powder i feel like are the things that i haven't decided about what to bring i have three options for powder i actually don't love this mac one as much as i thought i did so i'm gonna say no to that and decide between these two hmm another another decision to be made i'm not currently wearing any makeup so what i might do is do my makeup <laughs> try out some of these and then come back and let you know what i think i'm really tempted to bring this because i love it but it is kind of big it's kind of bulky and it's not really a multi-usage product like i can't use this as highlighter i only use it as eyeshadow so undecided about that as well for the lipsticks uh, i definitely want to bring at least one of these i'm kind of tempted to bring antique velvet i wore this in in my recent video and i think i'm wearing this in the intro of today's video as well i'm filming this on a different day so this is a maybe i feel like i've got a lot of maybes i do really want to bring ruby woo so i'm gonna say that's a maybe the rest of these eh, i could kind of go without so let's discount those blush <laughs> i'm yeah i'm gonna bring my project pan blush because i really do want to finish it and then i don't think i need another blush like that just seems like overkill to have four options so let's go through this bye oh no Okay, let's go through these. Ooh, this is my favorite lipstick. One thing about traveling is I'm always nervous that things could get lost, like my, you know, luggage could get lost. So I do wanna bring things that I love, but just in case they get lost, I'm like a little bit, you know, <laughs> reluctant to bring my very favorite items, but this is gonna be a probably yes for now. Okay, with all of that stuff. I do kind of want to bring this Becca blush and I am tempted by this. This is another kind of like topper eyeshadow, but this is similar to the eyeshadow palette that I want to bring. So I will have to swatch that and decide. And I am also tempted to bring this highlight. Um, ooh. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I think I'm going to bring. It's nice because it's compact, like it's pretty... Oh, I forgot to bring one thing actually. This was still in the bathroom. I do really enjoy this palette, but it's so big and I only use those three shades. So like, <laughs> let's compare sizes, like it doesn't even fit on the screen. This one is a bit wider, but is it even? Yeah. This one's a tiny bit wider, but this is just so big. It's, it's just not practical for traveling. And I actually get use out of all of these shades. Not as much that one, but like these are great. Just blending shades. That's good. Perfect shimmers. So yeah, I think this is just a lot more versatile and it's compact. So this is the one that I'm going to bring. Oh, and the reason I wasn't sure about this one like they don't look the same but they're both super shimmery so let me do a little swatch of these okay so i swatched those two shimmers those are those two right there and then i swatched this one and that is that one and i swatched that shade there because that's the one i use more out of those two and that is that one so Obviously those two are much more similar than with any of the others, but I don't know. I'm not convinced that you can tell the difference between that one and that one on the eye. Like I could tell a difference. This one is obviously much more pinky, but they have the same glitter qualities and I don't know. I'll come back to that. But for sure this one.
And anything else here? Ooh, I've already said that I need to bring Istanbul because that is where we are going for the majority of the trip. And oh, this is another one that I wasn't sure if I should bring because it is a similar, sometimes you gotta mix it up a little bit. It is a similar sort of shade. It's a bit more pinky than it's showing up on camera, but it is fairly similar to those other two and, you know, a little bit more work than a regular eyeshadow because it is a single shadow. You know, you just have to be a bit more careful. So I don't think it's worth bringing that, but I do love it. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna, for that. Most of these things, honestly, are from Shauna. I'm not gonna bother bringing a setting spray. I don't need any of those. They're all blushes, as I said. I have enough blushes that I'm bringing. And yeah, I think that's everything. These are just some single eyeshadows that honestly, I never reach for. So I'm gonna be fine without them. Let's scroll up to the top. We've got highlight, blush. <laughs> this is my MAC area, another blush, and that powder that I showed you earlier. I'm really tempted to bring another blush. I don't even know which, I just, <laughs> yeah, I kinda want a fifth blush. And then for brow gel, I might bring this Merit one. That's a maybe. I think I'm gonna bring this eyebrow pencil. I'm actually getting my brows done today, so I won't have to put anything on my brows for a little while, but that is easier to use once my brows start because I'm tinting them. Once they are not as dyed anymore, that is easier to use than a powder. But yeah, I think, I think that's everything I need from here. Tempted to also bring this li bite lippy. That's also a maybe. So many maybes. Ugh, I'm not very decisive right now. I was just thinking that I'm really tempted to bring a single shade, such as this ColourPop one, because this, as much as it's a beautiful palette and it's pretty versatile for me, it doesn't have very much depth. And this is quite a bit darker, but honestly, I don't think that dark shades work for me for traveling, you know, for, for long days in general, because your eyeshadow is always gonna crease no matter if you wear eyeshadow primer. And I just feel like you can get away with lighter shades on your eyes better or even no eyeshadow, just eyeliner. So yeah, I think it just makes more sense to go with lighter shades for long days. And that's, you know, what traveling is. So let's take a look at what's in here. Should I just dump it all out? Wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, it is a, you know, it's a lot. It just accumulates because I haven't done a shot my stash in a long time because <laughs> honestly, those videos were not popular. No one was into them. So I was like, what's the point? This isn't organic. Like I don't just organically change up my makeup that way. I just sort of change it to reflect my project pan or whatever I'm currently using. So I'm gonna take these shimmer sheets. I think they would be helpful. Uh, a cream blush is helpful. I think for when we are having days, even like tomorrow for traveling days, I'm gonna wear makeup, but like very light makeup. I'm thinking like brow gel, this Merit foundation stick and this milk makeup blush. Uh, we do have a couple of flights within Turkey. So for those days, I think those would be good products. Obviously eyelash curler, but I am going to switch out the <laughs> eyelash curler pads because I did get these recently. As much as I want to bring this, a single shimmer shade. I have enough shimmers as we've seen. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. It's just, it's so volumizing. Nothing compares to it. I've decided that this is used up. So I'm gonna use it one last time today and maybe tomorrow before we go. And then I'm gonna call it an empty. Obviously not going to take this. <laughs> this is an eyeshadow that I depotted. I'm gonna take this eyelid primer. This is my favorite. I don't think I need any other eyelid primers. Look how many I have. I've got these two other ones. And then one fell on the ground also. 
Ugh, I don't know if I can reach it right now. Obviously not gonna be taking this. Hmm. Concealer, of course. I might as well put these in the makeup bag. Maybe I should take this bronzer. It's so nice and compact. Yeah, I might do that because I tried this yesterday for the first time in ages and I actually really, really liked it, but it's so much bigger. Like look at the size comparison, that's wild. So I don't think it makes sense to keep this one. Comes down to this one or this NARS one or this Fenty one, which was gifted to me by Shauna. And this I actually used it as eyeshadow the other day. So that was kind of handy. I could do that with this one too. So I might take both of these. We'll have to decide that. I think a brown liner could be helpful, but I also have a brown one on the end of this. It is a darker brown. Hmm. I mean, these are small, so I don't really mind taking a couple of different colors. I might take these three or something. That's the purple one that's in my graveyard project pan or was. Okay, I definitely don't need to take this eyeliner. I literally never reach for it. Putting that away. Also this lash serum. I've been trying to use this up, but I'm not gonna take it with me. I'm gonna bring this because this is what I mix every day with the Becca foundation. And I'm going to take this for the inner corner. So I'm gonna say take all of these eyeliners and a sharpener. I'm so tempted to bring this because I can't imagine not having it with me, but I don't know. That's another maybe. This is the highlight that I use all the time, but I kind of want to break from it. So I'm going to leave that. And then highlight. I can't decide if I want to bring this one or this one because this is easier. Like you literally just swipe it on and you're done but it doesn't last super well because it's so almost like oily. This one takes a little bit more work, but it, I think it lasts better, but I want to break from it because it is in my panning project. So I think I'm going to bring this merit one and leave this one. And then Ah, oh, mascara. This one is going to be tricky. So I'm not going to take this one because it is almost finished. There's barely anything left. But this one is pretty close to done as well. But it works well with really volumizing mascaras to separate. So this is going to be a maybe. This is going to be a no. This is also a no. Although it might be good to have one non-waterproof mascara with me just in case. Hmm... Here are some other mascaras. Um, that's a good one for separation as well. I haven't used this in a while though, so I don't know how well it works. One of these two would be good to bring. Don't love that one. Don't love that one. I haven't used this in ages. This one is pretty dried up. Okay. But at least we've sorted out through all of the main stuff. So let's open this, switch out the eyelash curler pads. I think that could be fun. Can you see how far that goes down? There's like a, like a slice in it basically from so much use and pressure. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but there. You can see it just, it slices right through. I mean, I think I've had this for a long time. It doesn't, it, it takes a while, probably like a year, maybe more, but eventually you do have to replace them. And it is so satisfying to use a new one because the pressure is just so much better and it curls your eyelashes so much more effectively. So let's open this up. I am cruelty free, but this is just the, my eyelash curler. I don't know if I have to, defend that this brand is not cruelty free but you gotta do what you gotta do like this is these are the ones i have to fill let me know if there's a cruelty free brand of eyelash curler pads which replace the shiseido ones as far as i know there is not 
wipe some of that gunk off and let's put her in. See, so much better. That's how it's supposed to be. This is gonna feel so good on my eyelashes. I can't wait to curl them. I don't know if this is all gonna fit in my makeup bag. I am gonna bring another bag with like toiletries and whatnot so I can always fit the like bigger items in there. But you know, just for show, this is how we're doing <laughs> so far. And then we have a lot of decisions to be made. These are no's, these are no's. Got a couple maybes. We've also got more makeup in this drawer as I mentioned. I don't have travel sizes of very much stuff, but I do have this little baby Batiste dry shampoo. I wonder if this will last me two and a half weeks. I use a lot of dry shampoo because I have extremely oily hair. Okay. These are misc lip things. Oh my God, my, my lip stuff is still a disaster. I think I wanna bring this one although this one's nice too and it's a similar color Ooh, and i like this one can you see the the tones i'm going for mm. and then i do want to bring one dark one whether that's like this or one of these or the mac vintage antique one that i mentioned Should I bring a lip liner? Maybe one lip liner. Maybe two lip liners. Uh, this might be better than Mac Ruby Woo, actually. Oh, where's my nude lip liner? I have this nude NYX one that is my favorite lip liner, and I was planning to bring that, and I don't see it. Oh, there it is one which is it's the same shade as this Estee Lauder one so I might be better off bringing the one that I like less which is Estee Lauder this is a dupe for pillow talk it is peekaboo neutral Kelly Gooch also talks about it I always look in the wrong end first obviously not identical but on my lips uh they essentially show up as identical so we've got a lot of decisions to make in the lip camp eyeliners these are also two maybes for eyeliner and then mascara oh this is one of my favorites this i mean all of these have been favorites at one point well not all of them certainly not this one and not this one this is just basically a makeup collection inventory <laughs> it's a little bit of a sneak peek for my inventory coming up okay gonna have to decide between some of these it's a good thing i have today to do my makeup what i might do is go do my makeup with some of these to help me decide between them and then come back so brb okay i'm actually making progress with my decisions i'm putting my makeup on now and it's actually very much helping <laughs> one more makeup thing i need to get out which is in this drawer so this is the main heft of my makeup that is not on my dresser as i said i'm just bringing that one palette so i'm not gonna bring any of these things this i used to bring this while traveling actually because you know bronzer two blushes highlight but I'm bringing that hourglass one, as I said, so I don't also need this. Other palettes. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here that I would want to bring other than potentially this brow gel. So I'm gonna try, oh no, I can't try those out today because I'm getting my eyebrows done. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, so 
I don't, yeah, I don't want to show you too much in here just because of my upcoming inventory of my collection. So I'm going to give maybe these two products a try. And then I will come back and let you know if I've decided which blush, bronzer, and powder I am bringing. And then we will have to decide about mascara and lip products. Because, I mean, you can see how many <laughs> I've got as maybes over here. Uh, so many. Okay, I just tried out so many different products trying to decide what I want to bring. But I have made my decisions. Glad I hadn't done my makeup yet this morning because I don't know what I would have done otherwise. So I've decided that yes, I will bring this Merit highlight. After all, I do quite like it. I mean, I already knew that, but I wasn't sure if it would make sense for a trip like this. But I'm also going to bring this Becca highlight. So, you know, I can always use powder if I don't feel like using that cream one. I am going to use this CoverGirl powder instead of this Nude by Nature powder because I just got this. I've only used it, I think, twice um so it's quite new this one i've had i do not know how long it has a very pleasant scent i've used covergirl powders before and i really like their scent so i know that it hasn't gone off but there's so much product left in this like i've barely used it i probably used it like a dozen times so i should probably start working on this this one i have lots of time between these i did the Fenty one on one cheek and the NARS on the other cheek. Honestly, my whole face is like half one thing, half another. Hopefully no one can tell, but it's it's like an entirely different set of makeup on both sides of my face, which I love watching YouTube videos like that. So it was kind of fun to do it myself and see if I could make things look the same, pretty much. Eyelashes, uh, not so much, but the rest of me I think is fine. So anyways, I liked how the NARS one looked better. So I'm gonna bring that and I like this Wet n Wild one, but I'm not going to bring it. I like the Merit eyebrow better than the Maybelline gel eyebrow. So I'm going to bring that. And I am going to bring this. It's just, it's such a staple. It's so good. This was a little bit too, like, wet almost, even though I've had it for so long. So I'm going to leave that. And then I need to decide between these two, I think. I think this is going to be the one. So, okay, those are all of the other decisions that I needed to make. And now we need to decide about lips. We've been filming for half an hour. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, just lips less left to decide. Okay, I also used both of these eyeliners, one on each eye, and I like the way that this one looked better. It could be just my eyes. I don't know if it's eyeliner, but I'm gonna take this one anyways, taking it as a sign. This is gonna be no. These are all no's. And now we are going to have a swatch party for the lipsticks that I want to bring because there's a heck of a lot and I cannot cannot bring them all. I think, ugh, I just want to bring my favorites, you know? Ugh, my Ruby Woo is kind of dying. Did I swatch this one already? Okay. I do want to bring Antique Velvet. Even though I feel like it doesn't wear super well on my lips. I don't even remember which one was which, to be honest. I kind of want to bring this one. Definitely want to bring this one. And then for a red, I think it makes more sense to bring the NARS one. I think that's gonna be good. Sorry, I didn't explain which was associated with which one, but you watched it. I really, I really do wanna bring my Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm gonna do it. 
Although, is it similar to any of the ones that I've already swatched? No, not really. It's so much lighter. Okay. I think that's going to be it. We've got six. That might be overkill, actually. But one is a lip liner. I don't know if I really need a lip liner, actually. With the Charlotte Tilbury, I can just wear it on its own. Is five too many? Maybe. But we've got a deep one. We've got a comfortable one. We've got a purplish one. We've got a red one. We've got a nude one. So we're covering all the bases. Will I wear all of these? I don't know, but I feel like I need them all. That is going to be everything. This is absolutely not all going to fit in here, but I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Watch me trying to shove them all in. This is going live after my trip. I was planning to have it go live during my trip, but there's just so many videos to get out in November. So yeah, I will definitely have done some Instagram posts by now about which products I enjoy bringing, which ones I'm gonna use out of that kind of thing. Oh, I really wanted to bring this one, but I just, I don't think it makes sense. That It's just too many, you know? Yeah, yeah, and I've already got a liquid lipstick, so it's fine. I'm leaving it at that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a longer video, but I love watching pack with me's and I've never done one of these before. So let me know what you think, if you would have made similar choices to me or if you are not into the makeup products that I chose to bring, but that's it. I'll talk to you later and bye-bye. Welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm filming the outro before I'm actually filming the video. So I don't know what I chose, but I am excited because I think I'm going to give myself a little bit more leeway on this trip than I usually do with my day-to-day -day makeup. Like I'm going to want to reach for stuff that I like more because traveling is kind of a special occasion and I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures. So yeah. I'm excited to get to play a little bit and not be so constrained by the same products that I use basically every day in the rest of my life. But that is it for today. I wasn't going to talk about a book that I'm reading, but I'll, I'll, I'll do 30 second, 30 second little spiel. So this is an audiobook. This is called The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk, uh, who is a doctor. This is like a 16 hour audiobook, And as you can see, I'm not even four hours in. So I think that this is probably going to take me a while. So I might have to return it to the library before I'm done. I don't know how much audiobook listening I'm gonna get to while I'm on my trip. Just so you have some sense, today is Wednesday. I'm leaving on Monday, but that's not really enough time to finish a 16 hour audiobook, at least at my pace. So anyways, this is basically about trauma and how trauma affects us, not just mentally, but physically in our body, what it does to the human body. So really interesting. Some parts are a little too sciencey. Like there was this the first hour I was captivated. The second hour I was like, okay, I don't need to know all of these little intricacies about the brain, how it operates, the like the different regions of the brain but if you are interested in learning about trauma healing mentally and physically really interesting highly recommend at least so far <laughs> i'm only not even a quarter of the way in but that is going to be it for today's video thank you again so much for watching i'm super excited for my trip i will be doing a vlog you can follow me on my instagram my makeup instagram and my personal instagram and yeah that's gonna be it Thanks for watching. Bye guys.